I'm making this video to go through the wiring of a single phase motor um, to a VFD I have and the VFD is basically uh, up here and if I go back to my motor um, I can see that this single phase motor has uh, three wires um, here so you can see that there's a, a blue a red and a yellow and uh, my my issue is knowing which is the main winding and which is the starter winding and then we wire um, the, the VFD uh, accordingly. So I have some notes done out uh, where um, I've, I've already kind of found out which is the starter winding, which is the main winding, but I'm just going to talk about it just, just for a minute. So basically um, there was a starter capacitor uh, which was wired up at the very, very beginning. And I, when I took the starter capacitor off, I'd forgotten where the starter capacitor was, uh, was it, which wires was it attached to, which would indicate the starter winding. And I had to take the wires from the single phase VFD and then wire them as you can see here, where basically I have this U, V and W expecting in the main winding and the starter winding because the single phase VFDs, they basically can compensate uh, for the starter capacitors which are there. So uh, uh, essentially, um, I just kind of wanted to cover that. And if I go back to the camera, uh, what you'll see here is basically a, a multimeter. So the best thing to do with the multimeter is to set it, uh, you know, where basically you're looking at the actual resistance, right? And the idea is that I have to touch the different wires. So here, say, for example, I'll hold the blue and I'll hold the yellow and I'll see that I'm basically getting, it's just over a hundred ohms when I touch the uh, the blue and the yellow. And then say, for example, when I touch the blue and the red, I get something that's literally just under around the 30 mark in terms of ohms, right? So if I just minimize this guy here, what I want to show is that this is the blue wire and this is the yellow wire here. And the, the way you find out which is the main winding and which is the starter winding, effectively, the starter winding will give you more resistance than the main winding. The main winding is thicker and bigger. So therefore the rule of thumb is that, say for example, say I have the red to the blue here. So the red to the blue, if I go back to the camera again. So if I go the red to the blue and you can see the multimeter, I basically I have, it's the just under 30 ohms. And if I go from the red to the yellow, I have it's literally just under 77. It's going to jump around a bit, but it'll go between, say, 75 and 77, okay, uh, on the multimeter. So effectively, that means then I've just done out a small little table here by where I can see that the yellow to the blue, I got a reading of 101. The yellow to the red, I got 77. The red to the blue, I got 29. So this basically tells me here at the red wire, it's the main winding. And then effectively, then I have the uh, the starter winding, which is the yellow coming into the red. So basically, in this case, if you find a similar incidence where you have the single phase VFD, the W is going to be the red wire. Then you're going to have the V, the other side of the main winding uh, coming in. And then basically you're going to have the U. This is going to come on just for a small, short period of time at the very beginning in order to give some kind of a uh, movement uh, to the motor just to help it kind of go just a little bit. Uh, so I might break this video out to have a second part where I actually um, operate the um, the motor from the VFD. But basically the scope of this guy uh, was just effectively to show if you have these wires and you're after forgetting which is which, just use uh, the multimeter in order to kind of figure that out.